I didn't quite understand why it went viral because it didn't seem like a a big thing. Warren, people are uh, people may be familiar with you because of what this little viral video thing that happened. That's probably why. Just a yes. little five minute interaction. Yeah, we did a um, we did a reaction to this on the show where uh, hey, it's you right there, and this was passed around on Twitter. Passed around on YouTube, got you know six hundred thousand views on YouTube, but I mean it's got millions of views over on X. Right? Yeah, that's just my, you're talking the six hundred thousand. That's just my little podunk channel. It got like none on there, and then it went over to X and yeah, and then did its thing over there, and now it's starting to get a little bit of views on YouTube. Right, right, and uh, and here you are. So uh, you you did this video, and I think did Elon Musk tweet it out too, or something he did. like that? Yeah, that, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Right? Yeah. That is crazy. So uh, Elon Musk tweets it out, and uh, the whole idea is that you, uh, someone, you have a student who comes up to you, and they're like, "Hey, given the fact that J.K. Rowling, and by the way, oh, this is this is my student voice, mm -hmm. given the fact that J.K. Rowling is transphobic," and you're like, "Well, actually, hold on, let's actually," and you more or less mm -hmm. not dismantle that, but give him the opportunity to think for himself instead of what the narrative says. Yeah, it's it's the Socratic method, but I don't consciously think about it as the Socratic method, but people have been identifying it as that, which is essentially just asking questions to challenge presuppositions. It can be applied to a lot of things. I mean, questions are an intelligent way to address, to come to conclusions and navigate things in the world rather than because it allows the other person to speak in their own words, which is why that video is interesting, I think, to people is because I'm not telling him why he's he's realizing it for himself through responding so Does this yeah. type of interaction happen often like uh i mean like i was saying not it it does actually that's why i, did, I don't i didn't quite understand why it went viral because it didn't seem like a a big thing or I and mean, i did edit it i did post it on my channel because i was like oh that's an interesting little thought experiment and that was kind of my my teaching portfolio up until that point i had some lectures on there and just some filmmaking experiments as a filmmaker or video, you know, we say filmmaking, but it's all digital now. But it's, yeah, I mean, these, these interactions happen a lot with students. A student will ask you, what is socialism? What is fascism? What is the, you know, and then we'll, it's, the most interesting is when there's another teacher present because they usually have a different perspective. That makes it really interesting to, then it becomes a three-way conversation. Uh, but so these things do happen. It's rare that they can be caught on camera. A lot of it's only because I work with cameras that I even had a camera present. So it happened to be, we were about to film a newscast and the student was feeling, Oh, I got to warm up to be on camera. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I was like, all right, we'll do this as a warm up, kind of like a pre-show conversation. You know, let's just have a conversation. Ask me anything that's on your mind. What's something that interests you? Let's pre pretend it's a podcast. What's something that interests you? Well, given the fact that JK Rowling's transphobic, how does that make you feel about Harry Potter? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> There's a presupposition there. And then the rest is on video.